Just a quick word here about audio transitions. You'll see in the effects panel that you've actually got three types of audio transitions. That doesn't seem many, and they're all under the crossfade. You've got something called constant gain, constant power, and exponential fade. Now, I use exponential fade at the beginning and at the end of a timeline. So when you drag exponential fade in onto the audio track, obviously, it's going to fade the track in in a nice way. And you can make it fade in slowly or you can make it fade in quickly. So this is a slow fade. And this is a very fast fade. OK, so an exponential fade at the beginning and at the end will give you a nice fade in and fade out. Now, there are two other types of crossfades which are really for going between clips. Now, the difference between them is simply this. Constant power is chosen because you don't get an audible dip in noise. Whereas a constant gain, you might sort of get an audible dip. But what I would recommend you do is you put them onto your timeline and have a little listen between the two different types of crossfade and see which one's going to work for when you want to go between one clip and another. So if I put constant power on this particular clip here, where you can see we've got very low sound going to slightly higher sound, you can get a feel for what it's going to be like. Um, whereas I don't think you're going to hear a massive amount of difference if I go for constant gain, actually, because of the nature of what we're listening to, which is just C noises. So just beware that there are three different types. An exponential fade is really for giving you a smooth in and a smooth out on your timeline. And constant power is chosen because it's not really going to give you an audible dip, whereas constant gain can give you an audible dip if you put it between two clips.